this is why we're grilling in the shop. All right, <clears throat> I'm getting ready to do some ribs. Just thought I'd go over what you need if you're going to do this. Um, this is a gas grill on this side, three burners. I'm only going to be using this burner here uh, to regulate the temperature, low and slow. You need some. Uh, you'll need a uh, a rack to put the ribs on, some uh, barbecue grilling oil to oil the rack. Some Sweet Baby Ray barbecue sauce or your favorite brand. Uh, apple juice in a spray bottle. You'll need aluminum foil, scissors to open up the pack of ribs, a pan to put it on, a couple tongs to be able to pick it up, and a brush for the apple or for the uh, barbecue sauce. So without a further ado, I'm going to go get the ribs. Uh, I think I ran into a problem. I took this uh, propane tank down to get it filled, and when they filled it, they said it took 5.2 gallons, and that's only a five-gallon tank. So the problem was I wasn't getting over 200 degrees on the grill with two burners running. So I swapped out my other tank. It's about half full. And now I'm on one burner, and I'm having to turn it down now because I am at 275, and that's where I need to be. So I'm going to count that as the start time. It's 11:30, so about 1:30, these will be ready to go into tin foil. So yep, I'm having to back it down now. So yeah, that bottle's too full. It wasn't making any gas. So. I have to figure that one out. Alright, we're about an hour in. So about every 20 to 30 minutes, we uh, spritz with apple, apple juice. Okay. So we're about an hour in. It's looking pretty good. All right, uh, it's about, it's been about a little over two hours uh, with the rocky start. Um, I finally got it dialed in to where it's running 275 consistently. So the next step now, uh, so it's been two hours, now we're going to wrap it in tin foil. And I'm going to give it one more shot. Apple. We're not going to touch the gas burner, we're going to just leave it run. So this is where you want to have your two tongs. And you want to lift in between the grates. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over so the bone side is up. Okay. Squirt of juice, and what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it tightly in tin foil and put it back on the rack. For another two hours. Quick enough. Should be able to just pick it up, put it back on the rack. Alright, and 275 for two more hours. 
All right, we are getting there. So we've been in tin foil for two hours at uh, 275. Pretty rock solid on that right now. So now we are going to take it out of the tin foil. And yes, use your tongs. You want to leave the tin foil sort of open like a pan because there's a lot of juice in here right now. And what we are going to do real quick is get the barbecue sauce and put it on the bottom side. Okay. We'll brush and swish it around a little bit, spread it around. Get the edges. And these are looking really good. All right. Now we're going to flip it back over and put it back on the rack. Sometimes it's easier to turn the rack this way. Be very careful now because it could fall apart on you. Grab it to where I can turn it. And the bone's falling out of it already. Get it centered up on the rack. Around. Barbecue on top. Spread that around. We like the barbecue. After I get this on here, we are going to let it go another 20 to 30 minutes to bake some of the sauce in, and they will be done. Okay, and 20 to 30 more minutes at 275. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. I'd like to go a little longer, but everybody's hungry. Sides are ready. Uh, shop has been smelling really good all day and has done excellent as a windbreak. We've had uh, 20 to 30 mile an hour winds all day and the grill hasn't fluctuated at all. So we're going to pull this off and let it rest for about 10 or 15 minutes. I should have got a bigger pan, but that's what we got. And finish cutting the grill off. And we're going to go have supper. So I'll put this together after I uh, get done eating, and uh, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.